Hey folks, this is Deco here, Dan. Welcome back to RimWorld. So today we've got some fun stuff going on here. Um, we're still waiting to have the raw materials to build another zero. Um, I think I'm probably going to have to wait until this stupid quest is done with all these dumb dromedaries that I'm trying to keep track of. Trying to keep them from dying. They eat up all my medicine. <sighs> I think I actually shuffled these around. I think now that it's bright in there, I think that my good doctors will be able to keep them alive without needing to use any medicine. So I think I have that turned off on them, right? Well, it's in pharmacist at least, so maybe that will apply, maybe not. Um, what else is going on here? So, um, we're moving around some more moisture pumps. There's one in here in storage that's actually done. It's really hard to find. Where are you? Here. There it is. It's right here. So that one is getting moved over here. Um, that's actually just going to finish up this little area right here. Um, so that won't take... Actually, that will take a very long time because it's got to go the entire way. But that'll finish that up. And then these are just a tick or two away from being finished. One of them is going to go up here for a very short amount of time to fill that spot in. The other one, I may just bring it over here. And then I've got this whole area, like, done. It's weird. I don't really know how to deal with it. It's very uncomfortable. Um... Over here, um, this is already basically fine. I'll probably fill in this gap at some point. So um, before I get too crazy paving the desert, you know, we'll see. We'll see how that goes. Um, instead of making this bionic eye for um, who is this for? For Ruben, I could have actually gone through um, hybridization implants, hybrid implantology, and made um, you know genetic rim eyes from there. Obviously, I haven't researched that. That would take a long time. And since it's already halfway done, I'm already going to lose one of the two advanced components. So, oh well. I'll finish it this time, but in the future, then I'll try to do things that are more fun. So we do have this healing enhancer sitting outside. That's going to be going in dids. Um, I also think it's really amazing, by the way, that through my incredibly careful planning, I managed to make sure that my brawler is also a transhumanist and then has this permanent huge mood buff. That's a lie, but I'm going to tell you that anyway. It is pretty cool, though, because I can keep sticking things in there and you'll be happier and happier. I'm actually just going to throw um, one of these psychic dampeners in them, too, just because, I don't know, it seems like a good idea, you know? They're not very expensive, just one human and one insect gene and then just 15 plasteel. I say that as my plasteel is steadily decreasing. Um, we have some plasteel, like, way up here, but not much. So, we do need to be careful with that. Let's see if we can get this last thing in dids before he even wakes up. That would be pretty funny. And Helena is making the dampeners, thank you. And... I decided I didn't want Fox to do any of that stuff, right? Yeah. Avin Alt, I'll have you get up and come take care of these operations in just a few minutes here. Let's let Helena finish it up. Thank you. And onto the shelf with you. I should really put these bills in here. This is a torso. That's not going to interfere with anything else, is it? I hope not. I guess we'll find out. Sometimes these have been interacting in surprising and upsetting ways, so... Genetic Rim and EPOE don't play very well together. So did that work? So you've got Healing Enhancer. Yep, okay. And nothing important fell out. Uh, just an ear. No big deal. So this is really good. <laughs> <laughs> your machine body is complete. Yes, plus 13. Plus you're going to be at least largely immune to, um, uh, to, my god, this is going to be a long day if I can't talk, to the machine um, psychic drones. So that should be pretty great. Plus you can hear a little better. It's pretty great. More steel. We've actually got a good amount of steel found, so that won't be too difficult. Um, not just the ones in our base, but like there's some around here. Uranium, Jade. Oh, um, and I did run a power line down here because, yeah, I forgot that this can't power two drills plus a light. So that's my bad. Sorry about that, guys. This needs to reconnect somewhere. There we go. Got a little bit of hunting done. We will go after uh, some more Galatros here in the near future, which are basically going to sustain our colony moving forward. I think it's hilarious. Absolutely hilarious. Yeah, we got spines and stuff all over the place. This is fantastic. Oh, wait. Why is this one not getting refilled? This should have anything. Oh, you know what? I bet. Yeah. Um, I was going to say, I'll bet I don't have all these set. Chocolate eggs. No. 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 Don't do that. Bad. Jeez. 
putting chocolate eggs in the bioreactor? Are you kidding me? Ridiculous. I wouldn't be quite so low on medicine if you guys would haul it inside. How about you just go ahead and do that real quick? Man, there's a lot of crap down here that we don't have room for. I do actually have some DNA extraction kind of queued up here too, because we haven't made anything with a reptile yet. So I think that will be kind of cool. Av, you're back. Welcome back. Oh yeah, I was going to see whether or not we can uh, keep you guys alive without using medicine. Is someone coming to tend to you? How about you come and tend to all of them? Like, right away? Yeah, 64%. So this may not be good enough. Well, we'll see. Oh, pregnancy. Ah, crap. That's not good. That may stack up. Well, we'll see. Alright, welcome back, Lefty. So, someone was supposed to be... Major break risk. Someone was supposed to be extracting some DNAs for me. I'm just going to pull you out of here, Quick Fox. Give me some birds and stuff like that. Oh, good. The animal eye is ready. Okay. Um, That was for Ruben. Good news. You get a new left eye. Wherever you are. I don't even know where you are. Hopefully you show up. Well, I'm sure someone will take care of it. Let's keep an eye on these bills. Yep, some chicken. There we go. We've got some reptile. Good, good. Is that all of that then? I think so, yes. Like you're squishing. Okay, good. Someone's got that eye installed. Good. There actually are better ways to do this, by the way. Like, as people pointed out, that I could be doing things like having a staging area. Um, but I'm not gonna. It is kind of fun just picking through these two to see what it is I've got. So, reptile. What am I gonna do with you, I wonder? Hmm. I really like making things that I hope are predators. Reptile feline, reptile wolf? How much wolf do I have? Um, three wolf. How much cat? Four cat. Um, mm, it seems appropriate to make a cat in our particular world, doesn't it? I think it does. By the way, this is the recycler. Doesn't this look like some kind of like metal chicken? Like, it would be the wings and, like, its head and... Okay, never mind. It's been kind of a long day. So, in any case, Waffle's sleeping. Okay, whatever. You do you. I go Frenzy. Cool. Oh, there's not enough power over here. Oh, I thought that worked. Never mind. Here, we'll give you two powers. Pretty psyched to start really moving these around. Like, this is really going to open some stuff up here once these finish up. Okay, and now you can build that. Thank you very much. And being able to build stone walls, too. It's phenomenal. Welcome back, Ruben. What are you picking? You're eating rats and stuff. I really wish you weren't doing that. I'm trying to, like, get everything killed as fast as I can. As soon as it shows up on the map. And just feed it into the DNA sequencer. We're doing okay on pulp. I shouldn't need that for kind of a while. We should be okay. Um, I'm going to let everyone do a sweep past this here quick. Oh, there we go. Wait. Oh, you recombine genes. That's right. I had a bunch of that set up, too. Ruined genetic material. Well done. Well done, indeed. Boomalope. I don't want boomalope, but okay. All right, that was ridiculous. So, did we get anything good? <laughs> More boomalopes. I don't even want boomalope. Um... Yeah, nothing, nothing inspiring. Yeah, you guys haven't even fallen through to some of these yet, so... Okay, that's fine. As long as it's kind of getting done, I guess I'm okay. Um, Av, do you have a second here to come make... Our mystery reptile cat? I love doing this stuff. I should be making even more. Actually, I could just do a reptile wolf at the same time. Because... Why not? Honestly... Let's just do it. Yeah, go for it. It's quick. It's easy. Oh, you're going to extract? No, you're going to make an incubator, I hope, first. Yep, there we go. Thank you. And if you want to just go ahead, actually, and just make that right away.
Yes. Why are you taking it outside? Oh, this is full. Okay. Um, is it gonna be okay out there? Hold on, hold on. Zero and 50 degrees Celsius. Okay, that should be fine. I wish I had it inside. Actually, it's the same temperature inside, because I don't have any AC units in here. <laughs> Which is kind of funny. I probably should put some in. Like, I've got one over here, and I'm actually venting, yeah, like, into this room. You know what? Let's do that. I don't know if these will block it. Let's find out. Let's put one in, and let's see if it blocks it. Real tribute collector, I don't care about you. Not even a little. My pile of corpses grows anew. More jade. Just making sure this is okay. 22%. Yep, yep. Fantastic. Oh, okay. Well, we're keeping up on food. Hooray for that insect infestation, by the way. That was a huge one. Like that, that was really big. Props to the insects. All right, well, our incubators are getting close here. Let's send some more stuff through the recombinator here. I need to switch those because I keep getting them wrong. Um, let's run two rodent and then a couple of insect. Let's see if we get anything good out of those. Come on, good stuff. I didn't see what you carried and where. Did you merge those? Okay, we got to a wolf. Okay, well, all right. All right, so we got... Oh, I see I have wolf in both of these. That's not very helpful, is it? <laughs> uh, here. I should just fix that. Wolf. So, genetic materials. Wolf. Okay, so that wasn't too exciting. Let's see if we can get anything better out of some bugs. I don't want to go too crazy on these, because I want to make a lot of insect hybrids. Connor's doing it. Better do a better job this time, Connor. We're all counting on you. All right. Honestly, the only thing I even care about seeing is Thrumbo. So the rest of it is like, eh, all right. How much reptile do we have? We used it up. That's too bad. Okay, I should have expanded it first. <laughs> oh, well. We can just go hunt some Galatross or something. Hey, there we go. Here's our first one. We have a snake cat. The snake cat's a furry snake with tiny legs. It has a venomous bite and can be trained much further than other reptile hybrids. They have an improved melee dodge ability and a short nuzzle period. Daw. Look at you. You're adorable. You know how adorable you are? You need an age pill. And I'm gonna make you big. Because you're cute. Aw. Here, what should we name you? Hold on. There we go. And you should just be an animal normal for right now. Good deal. And our second one... Oh, someone just took it away, just as it was hatching. 99? 100. And we have a wolf snake. They're as fast as lightning and armed with a powerful venomous bite. Sheds wolf snake skin. Huh. And you're smart. Well, that's cool too. Let's make you an age pill as well. Since we obviously just don't even have enough medicine around for anything else, let's just spend more of it. All right, and you should also be in Animal Normal. Cool. I have no food. Let's make more animals. Yeah, I know. I know. Hey, it's overnight. You know what? Let's go kill, uh... Let's go kill another Galatross. They're easy to find at night. Here, which one's the closest? Um, I don't want to grab that pair. They're right next to each other. These should be far enough apart. It won't be a big deal. Gosh, I love hunting these guys. This is so much fun. There. All right. I got a couple people coming. Uh, this should be enough, along with Pancake. I hope. Or we're all gonna die. One or the other. Um, I may need you to go take care of the animals. Yep, thank you. I see you're not real happy about it, but... What are you doing, Theal? I'm trying to get Pancake out here. Pancake doesn't have time for your crap. Pancake needs to kill. Boy... Uh, if I had a nickel for every time I'd said that, I'd have a nickel. All right. Ready? Steady. Hold on. Shuffle apart ever so slightly here. And... <sighs> I 
Away we go. Um, okay, there we go. It's just gonna panic. Keep it on fire, there we go. Uh-oh, run away. Uh-oh. Get back here. Okay, there we go. Whew, I was worried for a second there. All right, well done. Um, let's go ahead and let's put this out and then take it home with us. Easy. Very easy. Just like I planned. <laughs> oh, that's never going to get old. Oh, some of these dromedaries need to be tended. Let's go make sure that we can take care of that. Okay, and then go ahead and haul it. And then let's remove the zone as such. Good job. Which animals need to be treated? Some of the dromedaries? Shouldn't Alt be doing that? Huh, well, whatever. I have faith that they'll figure it out. Seems to be working okay. I don't know if they're using my medicine or not, but... They're all alive and not bothering me right now, and that's the important part in the end. Alright, and let's take care of another Galatross. Turn you back into meat. I mean, we're keeping up, but we're not... Actually, we're not keeping up. <laughs> not even close. Oh, those bugs are insufficient, unfortunately. I just keep adding more animals, and it's a really, really bad idea. But how can you say no to these little guys? Come on. Uh, let's see here. We've got our Night Thrumbo. Oh, wait. Wasn't I also going to give you an age pill? Crap. I think I'm one short. Um, And our Snake Cat... And our wolf snake. Yeah, I'm one short. Okay. No big deal. Just keep making age pills. Thank you. Oh, we're out of deep drill over here. Okay. Um. I mean, I could actually do the jade and sell it. I don't know, man. Our wealth is <laughs> troublesome as it is. Um. Uranium hasn't come up yet, but I know I'll need it. I probably should just bite the bullet and start on the only plasteel I know of. Yeah, uranium jade, it's like up here somewhere. Yeah, this. Uh, you're hunting a fox. Oh, crap. I mean, you should be fine. Although, are you still like woozy from being aged? Yeah, 35%. Dude. Dude. Doggo. Come here. Don't go hunting a fennec fox, because right now it will ruin you. The same way you shouldn't go hunting a galatross. Oh, I really don't want to set up way up here, but I don't see any choice. Yeah. Okay, well, let me get this planned here real quick. Alright, well, here's the plan, such as it is. A little wood hovel, complete with a table and chair. I'm going to be powering this with one of those mechanoid power cells, rather than running wiring all the way up there, obviously. Um, so I can go ahead and I can take all this apart. They'll love that. I like simplifying things a little bit too, so this is this is all well and good. Yes, just go ahead and deconstruct all the things. Have fun. Do whatever. Alright, well that's gonna take forever. I'm hoping by the time Whoa, hold on. Oh, Emu, yeah, that's fine. I'm hoping by the time Mike gets back down here, he's not woozy anymore, and I can let him go do his thing. I don't remember how long this lasts. It's not that long. You know, I might need to do something about Connor's mood. Connor is always mad. I mean, part of it is because, like, you have a scar on your brain. But that's really hard to replace. Both the brain and the scar. So I don't really want to do that. But I don't really want to stick a joy wire in you either, so I don't really know what the plan is. Peace talks. Hmm. Do we care about you guys? Had haunt. Whatever that is. What are you? A rough outlander union. Um... Well... Maybe... I mean, I don't mind outlanders because I can take guns away from them. But at this point, I don't really need to worry about it. It's right down the road here. Somebody could just grab Frank and just like hit the road. You know what? I think I'm gonna do that. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. I will send... Alt, I believe. Social of 11? 
Well, I could send actual Av, but I need Av around. <laughs> Let me just double check here real quick. Yeah, I'll send Alt. That'll be fine. That'll be just fine. Before you go, I want to make sure that I remember to go ahead and uh, let you eat anything. Oh, wait, I don't have an anything. There we go. All right. <laughs> Make sure it's the right person, too, you know? So, okay, so off to the world. Let's assemble the caravan here. This is going to be easiest caravan ever. Yeah, this should be fine. All I need is Frank and Alt, a couple of meals, a um, couple of herbal medicine, just kind of for good luck, and a bedroll. You'll be there in point two days. So, yeah, not a problem. You'll be back literally in time for dinner. Which is really, really funny. Let's see if I can see you blasting off. Your own. Off you go. Frank is a herbivore, isn't Frank a herbivore? I thought Frank was a herbivore. I'm going to feel bad if it's not. Oh, maybe that's why I was so insistent I take kibble. Oh. Well. Oh well. He'll be fine. It's only a day. It is actually daytime. We just have an eclipse. Major break risk. Yeah, I know, Connor. Like, I'm not sure what to do with you. Oh, you know what I should do, actually, is build a bridge here, too. Yeah, it's going to get burned down, but maybe not. The other ones have been over there for quite a while without getting burned down, so maybe it'll be okay. Bridge. Done. Anything else on the map right now? Nope. Watch our food situation. Success! It's arrived by 66. Okay. Yay. Good job. Uh, come back home. See you in point two days. Well, that was easy. I mean, I don't care about those people. They're hostile to us anyway. Still. But... Oh, great. A blight on my corn plant. Ah, crap. An autumn in an insulting spree. Autumn is always pissy. What's your deal, anyway? Hmm. Alright, anyway. Oh, no! These are already mostly grown, too. <gasps> this sucks. Heat wave, that's mildly irritating, but we should be okay. Smoke leaf binge, mildly irritating, but we should be okay. Is that it? Yep, okay. Uh, Alright. I think you'll be fine inside here. I mean, I could add a chimney for another AC unit. That wouldn't be a big deal. Um, oh. And a raid that just dropped in right on top of us. Okay. Everyone panics so that all the animals come into the middle. Um, this is animal base, right? Yep, so anyone that's not in the combat area. Or the quest area. Okay. Alright. Alright. Ice. Come out here. Sig. Draft. Obviously, lefty draft. Um, I mean, we don't know exactly where they're going to come down, but we do want to try to guess. Let's hold some of these doors open as we go past so we can use it as cover. Um, Theo, you're up here in kind of a bad spot. Pull back here. Um, we're gonna hold that open, like I said, as cover. Um, crap. Lena, come up here. Like, nobody's in the base, is the problem. Come here. Alright, well, the problem is, we don't have anyone around. Everyone's all spread out. All the animals and stuff are out on the map. Um, I am gonna bring in... Pancake. Even though Pancake is not super useful at the moment, um, well, hold on, not Waffle. Let me make sure I've got the right animal. <laughs> uh, Pancake, um, does heat damage, which is of no particular use against Mechanoids, but I need some help. Oh god, that's not good. Okay, so don't go over there. Um, come over here instead. Yeah, we're just gonna have to be, like, out in the open range. Oh my god. Do none of you have EMP grenades? Oh, this is gonna go really, really badly. Who has my EMP grenades? Where are you? I'll bet it's all these people that are having mental breaks right now. I really wish you were closer, my friend, but you're a long ways away. So, yeah. Well, here, I mean, I can jump you closer, and that'll help a little. Um, but yeah. All right, well. This just kind of is what it is. Everyone get out here and we're just going to get... We're going to get exterminated by this stuff. 
I don't even know. I don't even know what else to think about this. This is gonna be gruesome. That's why I'm bringing my animals out. My animals out as like bait, literally. Oh yeah, this is pretty bad. Wait, no, event. What are you doing? Don't flee. Aren't you mind controlled? Come attack. Provide me with some backup. Or provide Frank with some backup or something. Yeah. This. Oh no. Oh no. This is a big deal. I need all you guys out here. And I need you all to be attacking this thing. I mean, all the rest of these things are really bad too. But the Goliath is the worst. Here, go, go melee them, is the best I can say. Um, I'll do my best to keep you alive. Yeah. Do I have anyone coming back in here that can help me out? I know I had a few people. Oh my god, Dids, I forgot all about you. Um, quick, get over here and then get inside. I could, oh my god, could I use your help? Zero, come in here as best you can. Yeah, thanks, Autumn. You're really, uh, really helping out here. Luckily, I'm not even concerned about my power generation. Just kill the Goliath, please. Event is down. Frank is down. Okay, 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 quick. Okay, okay. We may actually be able to save this. Lefty, are you gonna die? Yep. Ice, three hours, six hours, four hours. Um, Av, please tell me you have a medic pack. Please tell me you have a medic pack. Stabilize. Yep. Okay. Um, I think everybody else can be tended to in time. Yes. So let's go ahead and let's rescue everybody explicitly just to get them all in there. Pancake? That's not good. That's not good at all. Okay. And then let's see here. Who else do I have? Evan? Come rescue event. Okay. Frank. Where are you going? Don't flee. Come back. Is there something outside? Oh, this. That alt must have, like, soloed or something. Wait, what's going on? Who's... I hear the squeaking sound of a melee, and I'm not seeing it. I don't like that at all. All right, I think we should be able to pull this off now. Oh, these doors need to be closed. Um. Not that one, but uh, this one does. Actually, it's going to get really hot in here. Ah, uh, well, crap. People have been going on binges and stuff, and it's just really, it's really annoying. <laughs> I think I have everything tended now. It was close, but I think I got that all pulled off. I still have no idea what was hitting something. I never did figure that out, so hopefully that'll be a funny little aside in post. We'll laugh long into the night. Starvation. Oh, yeah. Eat. My god. And handlers, I'm gonna have to bring a bunch of you up. Um, hmm, unfortunately, you're all injured. Okay. Well, okay. Well, Connor's not. I just need to make sure that my animals get fed. We also need to make sure that we have plenty of kibble. So, uh, Evan, you're okay, right? Yeah, you're just in a bad mood. So I need to be very, very careful that I keep our kibble taken up so that our animals get fed. Well, all got a disease. Yeah, that's okay. I kind of expect stuff like that. That's fine. Um, you have an immunohancer. That's not helpful. Oh, yeah, it is. It's perfect. It's exactly the right thing. So why don't you come treat your clone or something? All right. I think we've basically pulled this thing back. Is this it? 
Yeah, I think we're basically good to go here now. Um, all of our animals are going to survive with bits and pieces blown off. Um, we are surviving the heat wave. I did stick a few more coolers in here on, like, exterior walls. I hate that, but I really needed the cooling. I'm even cooling inside here to try to keep our poor animals a little more comfortable, even though one of these doors is always open, but I'm doing my best. So, I guess... Pardon me, I guess I could go talk to... These traders, they're not going to be interesting, but I could do it. Hello. Yep, we'll buy some plasteel and wood, and you guys can have some leather and an egg. And I think I can finally let you guys back out. I've had them all locked inside the base zone. So they would actually work on stuff inside the base zone. Yeah, a little medicine, no kidding. No kidding indeed. Oh, you found some plasteel. Right there. Oh, that's amazing. Okay, then. Well, on that incredibly positive note, this episode has been a huge success. And so, as always, thanks for watching. See you next time.